Good morning and welcome to Friday. Today is a good one. I mean, as far as lockdown days go, this is going to be a good one. In 45 minutes, we're going to speak to Canny Spannon on Narrowboat Stories and he doesn't own just one boat. Oh no, he lives on a narrow boat, but he's doing up a Dutch barge. I cannot wait to find out his narrow boat story. So I'm really looking forward to that. Later this afternoon, I'm meeting Miramar up at the Ashridge Estate. We're going to go for a walk and I'm going to show her around. Well, then I've got some work stuff to do. So that's not so exciting, but definitely exciting this morning. Okay, Mr. Warner's going to try and explain to me that something to do with the system and the electricity. Right, okay. So all of our sockets in the boat yeah. are obviously 240. Yeah. Okay. We don't have any 12 volt sockets. So everything's 240. Okay. Uh, yeah. And we get our 240 voltage three ways. Okay. okay. So that switch has got a zero on it. Yeah. A one, a two, a three. Okay. okay. One, yeah. zero is obviously off. So that kills everything. Yeah. One is if you're on shoreline, so yeah. for us, that's the generator. Okay, but that also used to be when we were plugged in at plugged the marina. The marina yeah. Okay. Okay, two, and then yeah. when it's plugged into the marina, sorry, into shoreline and all the generator, that on number one yeah. is when you can use microwave. Hair uh, straighteners. All the big oh, yeah. coffee machine, yeah, yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. Basically, if you want to do all those things, you yeah. need to be on the one with the generator running. Yeah. Okay. Two is our inboard generator, which is the big right. beast under the next yeah, to the washing machine. Yeah, which I don't want to ever you're touch. You're never going to touch that, so no. that's never going to okay. be an issue for you. And number three is the inverter. Right. Okay. Now the inverter, so that all the switches then run through the inverter, which will run everyday stuff all, yeah. all, all, all the time. Runs my computer yeah, charger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, you can use all of that leave it on three m most of the time now yeah all right it's only if the batteries are getting low yeah that we can start the bat we can now start the generator yeah which will start the battery charger which won't interfere with the inverter is that if you don't need to run anything heavy yeah but the batteries are getting low and you think oh I better put the generator on yeah you just turn the generator on leave it on number three don't don't touch anything okay so I leave it on number three, which is normally the inverter, inverter. but the generator will be we'll on. Will run, and all the generator will be doing is running the battery charger, which will be charging the batteries. Okay, so oh. I think that's clear. Uh, leave yeah, it on no, three at of, all times. Yeah, a lot. Of... I'm getting ready for the live stream. Mr. Warner's making the all-important cup of tea. So we just finished the live stream with Canice, and what an interesting guy check out his channel i'll put a link in the comments below right let's get out for a walk i wonder what mr warner's gonna do with that miramar and liam are new to this area too and i've been telling them about the estate what's it called again the place ashry do you remember the place with the monument so in normal times, I'd have gone and picked up Miramar. We would have driven there. We would have had a look round together and then I'd dropped her off. But we can't because of COVID. So what we're doing is we've arranged to meet them here and then we'll drive. They can follow us and then I can have a walk with Miramar. Not that we have an extensive knowledge of the place because obviously we're learning about what's around here too. So this is where the road was shut last time there's still a little bit of a flood. I mean, it's just a big puddle, really. Here we go. So Glenn's just said when he dies, you know that people sometimes have benches. When Glenn dies, he wants one of these and he wants it to say, in honor of Glenn, fixer of all things. Okay, I better start saving. Look at this tree, it's hollow. Don't touch mushroom that grows on. Oh yeah! Trees may get bigger and bigger. My God, look! The they're fantastic. They start off really small. Oh my God! It's almost like bark, isn't it? Yeah. They're called a polypore. A polypore? Yeah, it's the type of mushroom that grows from a tree like that. <laughs> Miramar spotted something that you can make tea from. This flower. Yeah. You pick it and you can make tea from it. Look at that cabin. It's beautiful. Oh, 
Oh man, look at these, two trees down. Look at that one. It looks like ripped out of the ground. Let's oh, go through it. Heavy. Man. Oh. Oh, that was so good. It was so good to see Miramar and, and uh, wade through mud. So tell me about it, Mr. Warner. I'm going to make a wood store and coal store out of it. It's got to level the floor out, so I need to get a fork or a shovel or something to uh, get it out. However good it is being out, nothing beats getting in. Well, good evening to you. I, I'm almost through this bottle of red wine. Look, there's that much left. I'm going to make a concerted effort to finish that tonight. In addition... I'm making smoky barbecue chicken and black bean loaded wedges. Do you remember last week when I was cooking and in the Hello Fresh bag there was that giant courgette? Don't stop there. Just opened this bag with tonight's ingredients. Look at the size of that carrot. It is huge. Oh, so we got potato wedges, we got barbecue chicken, we've got cheese, black beans, we've got all the goodness in there. Here we go, Mr. Warner. This is a Friday night dinner, this is. 